Uh, first up, let's talk about ladies. I'm glad that we got no Ooh, ladies, ladies whatsoever to represent this week as we talk about the divas. Thank you very much. We'll do our best. <laughs> uh, but of course, last... get the wig again. You get the wig? Do you, you have it handy? Maybe. <laughs> okay, okay. But if you can't, okay, it's, 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 it's all right. Just, but of course, okay. we had the uh, an uprising of NXT last night. We had uh, Becky Lynch, Charlotte, and of course Sasha Banks all stepping up. It looks like we're. It feels like we're turning into like we're going to have a three on three on three Survivor Series match of some sort at the Battleground. I don't know if they've announced anything just yet, but uh, uh, this actually was germinating a little bit from uh, uh, Mark Madden. I, I got a text from from Dutter that said, "Hey, Mark Madden saying we should watch Raw." Uh, that's a step in the right direction. And now Mark Madden, strangely, was just hanging outside the main gate at Console Energy Center Saturday night after the WWE Mike live Grand show. Always does. I've never. Have you witnessed this before? Uh, he, he, he just is always there. I've never witnessed it, but I've heard things. I mean, I mean, I've 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 done some work with Mark Madden, and and, and he's a cool guy. But it's just like it's just surreal to just like walk on. Mark Madden is just freaking hanging there, you know? <laughs> this is Pittsburgh. P- P- Pittsburgh, you will randomly run into Virgil and Mark Madden. That's how it hangs around here, okay? Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, so based on that, I was like, okay, I want to pay, pay some extra attention to Raw. And, and, and that's what we got. We got a good introduction um, um, from that. We have an email, actually, uh, from... Wait, wait, wait. I got a note here somewhere. I've lost my notes. My notes just went weird. Uh, but we do have an email here. Uh, Garza? No. Ciro, mm-hmm. yeah. Got Garza yeah. Uh, emailed in. And part of that is uh, talking about the diva. So I want to touch on that before we get deep into the conversation. He says it's been a while since his email, but this time he does have something he wants to mention. Let's start off with the good stuff. That triple threat match was amazing. Kind of backwards booking, having Cena ha- have to go against the tire hero, but still great. John was uh, also great on commentary during the whole thing. Now, the big part of his email I want to get to. Now, not everything was good. So he does not have a positive side on this. Uh, mm-hmm. Leave it to WWE to fuck up the debut of the NXT girls. Uh, fucking Stephanie McMahon, man, McMahon, man. Uh, she had no business being there. Not only has she got, been gone for weeks, and she just came back with, uh, uh, came back to belittle the champ and try to steal the spotlight. Why can't we just have Paige just introduce them as her last resort or something? No. Fucking Stephanie McMahon needs to give us her hypocrite give divas a chance bs there was no reason why stephanie would be a baby face and support page it just felt like a hogan-esque maneuvering to be the one in the baby face slot for this uh thing that she knows will go down as a big moment in history also sasha joining tamina and naomi makes no sense whatsoever like at all terrible execution of what could have been an awesome moment i disagree I see his point though. Yeah, yeah, I see his point. It was um, it was weird. That it was like we had this giant mashup of here's all the divas that are important. Sorry, Natalia. Um, so I, I don't know. It, it, what what do you? I, I thought it was a great moment to introduce them to Raw, even though we have seen them on other matches. Are, have they been? Has Charlotte and Sasha we been saw, on Raw? We saw Charlotte. We saw Charlotte, Charlotte on Raw once, and she lost really quickly to Natty. Okay, okay. So they had a weird little test there, but this is like the real debut of her. And we ended with the the three of them on top, and I, I don't know what you do from here, but my, my, my stipulation I, I mentioned on the Raw wrap-up last night, we need to have two significant Divas matches every Raw. In three hours, there's no reason we can't have that. Well, I mean, I'd be okay with one for right now. Right. Right, right, um, right. Yeah, I, I, I'd be okay with one for right now, but um, there, we need like the match that Alicia Fox and Paige had a few weeks ago mm-hmm. was really, really good, and that's something that they can take a cue from. Like, but if you have, if you're really bringing up Charlotte, Becky, and Sasha, I personally don't think that they're all coming up full time. Okay. I personally don't think that. I think they were brought in to kind of show the Bellas that all of these women are nipping at their heels. Right. Like, I I think we might keep maybe Charlotte and Becky and Sasha stays down at NXT while she's still champion. But who knows? She could Kevin Owens this this thing. That's what I feel like. I think think all of them are. They're going to do a crossover thing. 
uh, uh, while we go here, because we do have Sasha and Charlotte this week on NXT, for instance. Um, so in the meantime, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, Mr. Genius, uh, what, what do you what do you think?